Good luck. This is why we're here this morning. We'll have to catch up on that game afterward. All right. Note, they have not pushed this Rook Pawn, so don't push the... Okay, we know this, but... um. Trying to remember good or best ways to counter this thing. Um, how about, uh, let's try this. Oh, I forgot already. Um, this is like super risky because I've now made targets of these pawns. So like they could do a bishop drop somewhere around here and I could be not too satisfied with that outcome. Um, yeah, that was not bright. All right, so what happens now that we've got this really funky position? Um, if I were to bishop exchange and try to like exploit something, that's not gonna work, is it? Like, closing the diagonal is probably my sanest course of action at this point. No. No, because now they just bring the rook up and sack it. Um, all right, we've committed to something exciting. And um, there's no uncommitting at this point. Um, <laughs> hmm. So yeah, anyhow, um, somebody had posted a very funny meme in Spiddler's channel, and I think this is original. And so I have copied it into uh, my channel as this uh, special little quote here. Chess hasn't been updated in almost 200 years, and it's obvious the devs have abandoned it. The greedy creators took your money and laughed all the way to the bank. Of course, this is patently false. Everybody knows that the chess rules were changed just last year. So now when you castle, you have to move one piece at a time. You move the king first, and then using the same hand, you move the rook over, and then that same hand has to press the clock. Otherwise, it's a violation. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. All right. Um, so if I push the silver up, they have a bishop drop right in my corner, which is horrible. Let's not have that happen to us. Um, hmm. Well, if I were crazy, I would... Well, pushing this pawn's not that crazy. Um, but it does expose my rook to a bishop fork, so that's amply concerning. Um, yeah, so to defend against fork ideas, I could lift my gold... These two pawns are prone. Wait, no, then they're going to push this and then fork on 5-5. Five five. They're threatening that the whole time, aren't they? Wait, no, if, I'm sorry. If I have my silver here, I'm okay against that kind of fork. 
Uh, so as long as I use my left goal to protect my center three pawns, and I have this bishop or silver on the diagonal covering threats here, then possible forks... Well, my rook defends this already, so the only fork could possibly hit this point, but I'm fine there. But the other thing to concern about is, like, a pawn push, and um, it's still awkward to meet the bishop drop on 5-5. Five five. Oh, this is why I raised the silver up so they can protect if I do a bishop 5-5 five five drop. I see. So my options here are either silver... Uh, two, uh, eight, two, or silver six, two to protect this. Um, without well, actually, it'd be just silver eight, two, because otherwise, there's a bishop drop here anyway. And even if my lance moves away, they still promote in the corner. So, yeah, this is required by the position. That's a cute little cat. I say, they have an avatar that's even cuter than mine. Um. I am mildly amused that, like, here I am in early morning USA. Super early morning. And yet, like, this somehow uh, I got a challenge from a player in Ukraine. Like, this is the Ukrainian flag. So either they are east of Ukraine at this point, or, I don't know, somehow I got this challenge, despite I'd assumed that other challenges would be... Um, the ones I'd be receiving this time, like from folks in Japan. That's why we do the early morning streams, is to try to get all the Japanese folks who probably after dinner would be online. Because um, we have to get them played. So what's the problem with me taking this? I mean, yes, it's in many lines, Joseki, that they push, I take, they take, I'd pawn drop, and then they have this half open line for the rook. Um, I guess the problem is that their rook prevents me from pushing my pawn. Uh, is there something wrong with me pushing this right now? This is risky. They could bishop drop to hit the pawn and this pawn. So yes, there is something wrong with that. So I need to just take this, accept that um, I'm not going to be able to push my pawn so easily and get on with the game. But also, if they do rook take here, I can consider a like bishop forks of sorts. Um, which perhaps that was the correct answer is just bishop drop here, threatening to hit this, and then bishop takes pawn. But then they might sack the rook for the bishop and get two bishops and somehow attack me anyway, um, which could be pretty unpleasant. But yeah, now if they do rook takes, I could still do this bishop fork. I'm just not winning a pawn, I'd be winning a tempo. If the rook tries to defend this pawn, like rook there, then I pawn drop on the rook's head, so they can't take this. This is just a defect. All right. Um. <laughs> he says as he considers, like, pushing, and okay. <laughs> oh, okay, well... Um, hmm. Yeah, no, they've correctly created a defect in my position. Um, well, before I get completely mowed over, 
Let's get this on the board. My idea is not to recapture with the rook, but instead to do the obvious thing. All right, which they have prevented now. Um, wait, I'm an idiot. I mean, we knew that. But, um, only now is it manifestly clear just how far my idiocy goes. Uh, I had a bishop drop in this corner for at least one move. And probably much longer. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, my opponent kind of forced me to find it. Uh, but yeah. We are now pinning this pawn to the bishop. Um, which is unique. Uh, but yeah, more importantly, I am promoting. Uh, so now what? I have to block this file, otherwise they do a pawn drop somewhere around here, and I just get destroyed. So we can't let that rook sit here forever. Um, if pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, silver takes, rook takes, I'm fine. So it's okay to spend a tempo on this, even if they play rook back here. Um, one option would be for me to do pawn takes, pawn promote. Uh, which, well, they could do knight takes, rather. I'm confused. I'm trying to comment on, like, if I interpolate this pawn captures pawn thing in order to save my pawn, um, that they can't do bishop takes to protect the lance because I have some tactic, I hope. Uh, that might be untrue, but now it seems true. So... Um, Yeah, this position's like super awkward. I guess they are intending a pawn drop. So if I'm crazy, I just take the lance and let the pawn drop happen and deal with it afterward. If I'm less crazy, I try to do something. Well, I have this defended twice. They have attacked it twice. The pawn drop. Later, pawn takes, knight takes, bishop takes, silver takes, rook takes. Not the worst outcome because I'm getting a bishop for two pieces. I could spend a tempo to defend this better. Um, yeah, what's awkward is I can't put any pieces between the rook and the silver unless uh, it's a gold that I stick right next to my silver, which is pretty weird. Um, so if I take the lance, if they drop a pawn here, how can I respond? I mean, I could protect this. How serious is their pawn drop threat? Like I said, my knight could recapture, and then they could drop another pawn. Um, so that's really not an answer. So instead, we're looking at silver takes, bishop takes, knight takes, which I guess looks fine, although they get a dragon. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, no. String together multiple comments from earlier. Um, yeah, so this is awkward because I can't castle my king. 
um, until this threat's dealt with. Um, that said, and putting a gold over here doesn't really deal with it, does it? I'm not sure. Oh wait, if they drop the pawn, I could just put a lance behind here. It's not ideal. Like, I mean, I could continue taking stuff and they do pawn takes, so I do but silver takes. We exchange some material, they get a dragon. I don't like that outcome. Um, or I could move anything to defend this. Um, understanding that they'll be trying to promote here. I'm just trying to figure out, do I need to spend a move to move my king or gold to defend this thing or not? That's my concern. Uh, so I can articulate things that way. So either... Either, uh... Yeah, sorry, I'm... Um... Hmm. I just don't understand how serious that threat is. All right, I want to find out how serious the threat is. Right. So I can either do lance, gold, or king to defend this. Or I could just take the knight and pretend that there's no problem. But that seems kind of risky. Um... So my gold is actually doing a good job of covering this square back here. Um, well, my gold... Actually, the gold would be defended by the rook as it stands. So if I move the gold up, pawn takes, silver takes... Actually, I could just take this, couldn't I? I'm being dumb. I sat there for like five minutes thinking, but... Yeah, pawn takes pawn, and then I just pawn drop, and we repeat the same position that we've seen earlier, in which I was fine last time, and I'm still fine. Uh, yeah, this is irregular, to be sure, but... So the problem here is that there's a defect in my castle. It's not that I'm immediately tactically overwhelmed. It's just that strategically, long-term, if I have to keep this defect there, it becomes difficult to deal with. Okay, but I don't have to keep it there. So, yeah. That was a tremendous hallucination on my part. Um... The best defense is a good offense. We're about to see that in action. Um... A 
At least that's what I want to say. But man, this position's dangerous. If I just... Well... No. They could pawn drop on the lance's head. Um... Screw it. This looks fun. We're gonna have some fun. I don't need your stinking knight. Although, come to think of it, if they'd done a pawn drop, then I could drop my knight here, and then Lance takes pawn, threatening Lance takes knight, after they move the rook away. But, I'm not in this to win a pawn. I have some other target in mind. Oh, having made that dramatic speech, incidentally, I'm winning a pawn. Okay, fine. Shogi's complicated. Um, at least I didn't expect bishop takes. Well, now their bishop actually can attack quite a few things, so I need to play carefully. Um... Or I just sack my rook for the bishop and have some more fun. But that looks way too fun. Um, I'm concerned about my king. All right, so although I'm concerned about these checks, I actually don't want the bishop on this diagonal because it prevents me from moving my pawn forward if I have to to capture. Um, right. So next, they're going to do pawn drop here again. We all know that. Um, um, but I can actually use the same tactic, and I'm going to move faster. Um, hmm. I can't use it, though. I thought I could. Well, this is strange. Um, we're going to dismantle the castle from the inside, I guess. This doesn't work, does it? They just pawn drop right in front of my pawn. Leaving me with just a dangling pawn that can't do anything. Uh, shoot. If knight takes... Well, hang on. That is actually kind of interesting. If knight takes, uh, bishop takes, rook takes, silver takes, I promote. Um, it's not enough to mate. Okay, yeah, there's that too. The smart way. Alright, um, could do lance takes, silver takes, knight takes, 
silver takes and then drop a silver somewhere around here. Actually, if, no, they have to do bishop takes at some point and leave the silver covering this. Um, yeah, my horse is not very active in this corner. So I'm concerned that they're going to do the obvious attack. Um... And then I might not have enough things defending that square or my center square. Knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, silver takes, rook takes. Yeah, they have three. I have three covering this. Uh, I could use a gold to defend my center. Um, I mean, this is awkward. Also, I could use my king. Um... So now one, two, three with my silver is the threat. Um, so if I get three free moves, my attack breaks through. He's got three turns. I don't know exactly how he can attack given only three tempi. But that's the challenge. Yeah, part of the reason I'm feeling reasonably confident here is that I can control how quickly pieces get exchanged. So, um, if I do nothing for a while, it's going to take them some time to... Um, like, there's only one file they can drop a pawn on. So any way that they would be able to force exchanges, they'd be trading pieces for my exposed lance and knight. All my heavy pieces, like... Here's my horse, here's my rook. All my generals are like back here. It's difficult for them to exchange for my heavy pieces. Not that heavy, not that you want to conduct a heavy attack, but you will need at least one heavy piece in an attack, I think. It's uncommon for just pawns and knights and lances to break in. But but yeah, for them to win material, um, they're going to have to sacrifice material. And each time they trade, I'm going to profit from each trade. So yeah, this looks very advantageous for me. I get what they're going for, like this trying to exploit a pin on this, but my rook covered the silver the entire time. So the pin was kind of immaterial. Okay, this is clever. Yeah, they have to defend the center point. Which deals with a lot of my nonsense. Um, so another idea is I could just bring out my other knight, but then they push this pawn, and I don't get to use both knights at once. 
Uh, another idea is to just Daniel. activate the damn horse. Except there's no good path to retreat. Um, another is just build Daniel. up my castle. Um, but yeah, bringing the silver into the game is probably my most reasonable course of action. Even if it goes no further than uh, the 4-4 four, four square here, that would help protect the center. And that uh, protecting the center while also threatening to take this pawn and activate my rook um, seems like the top priority. Um, okay, this doesn't make sense. We've been here a dozen times before. Although this time I think I want to just allow exchanges to happen. Uh, pawn takes, rook takes, pawn drop, knight takes, knight takes, or silver takes, or something like that. I can I need another piece at this Pondrillo. point to continue attacking. Um Uh, pawn takes, bishop takes silver might happen. Um, even so, this is fine. They have taken a pawn. Okay. What is this pawn for? I don't understand. I mean, yes, there's disharmony in my camp, but that's a free gold. Okay. So yeah, they've, uh, with this pawn, they've managed to coerce me into exchanging material. Um, but I have this covered. So now I could place another knight back on my first rank if I really feel uncomfortable. But I'm not feeling that way right now. Turn by turn, this game seems to be just getting more awkward. I need to be careful not to Nifu. Because I don't see how, aside from Nifu, I could lose this game. For several turns, they should have moved this bishop and then used the pawn to attack my exposed knight. But that did not occur. Alright, so they have another pawn in hand. So they do threaten to do pawn drop right here. If I drop a pawn, yeah, we can, let's see, if I pawn drop knight takes 
either of my pieces takes. Actually, gold takes is better. So we drop where they want it to drop. So it's going to take them another exchange to break in. In some way, this game has been very instructive, although, like, yeah, I think my knight here has been um, exposed for a while. Potentially my lance has been exposed for a while. Like, these, I think, are the easiest to hit targets in my camp. Now, I messed up the early opening, and perhaps that's why we got this strange game. Um... Probably I left myself prone to some kind of horrible tactic in the first five moves of the game. Um, or first nine. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I think because of that we have this very irregular position. Where I've just been able to repeatedly drop pawns on this square and somehow my position has not collapsed the way that it would normally collapse under this kind of an attack. So now if they were to exchange knight, bishop, and rook to get my two generals, they could continue attacking. Um, but I don't think it's worth it for them to do that. So knight takes, gold takes, and the reason for gold takes there is that if I were to do silver takes, then they could trade the bishop for the silver and then drop the silver right here. Well, then I just take the gold and they get a horse taking my lance. Um, but no, if they do knight takes, gold takes, they have a pawn in hand. They have two pawns in hand, but nothing that can win uh, my lance or promote. Whereas if I, like, take back with the silver, then they sack the bishop and might be able to promote something. Although if they sack the bishop and the rook, what are they promoting? I should think about it that way, too. Yeah, I think it doesn't even matter which general I take with. Gold takes seem safer because, um, they, uh, well, I don't know. My reaction is that the bishop cannot take the gold because there's the silver in the way, but it could just take the silver just as if as the silver had gone back, the bishop could take it there too. Um, but I'm concerned about um, knight takes, uh, silver takes, bishop takes, gold takes, and then a silver us? drop, which would force me to either win the rook, which is very good, or... Um, or drop another gold down here to defend things. All right. Yeah, I kind of expected this because the other attacks have not worked. Um, incidentally, I don't need to take the rook. It's going to be there. But I should take it because it's a free rook. Otherwise, it's just going to take my lance next. And then if I take back, I have a problem. Oh, hang on, I have a rook. A rook is a good piece. Oh. Well, that's so much simpler. Okay. Uh, let's view the comments. GG. Uh, uh, honestly, I didn't see that until I played it either. Um, yeah. That's so unusual. Uh, 
Ah, uh, so I'm curious to what extent my opponent wants to review the game with me versus with an engine. Um, I must have aired early in the opening to for this defense to have worked. Uh, yeah. Like this defense, the notion that they could just pawn drop on this 7-4 uh, square over and over and it never works leaves both of us frustrated and unsatisfied. Um, because that should work. It usually works. Why did it not work this game? I don't understand. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna copy this into Shogi GUI and run an analysis with Geeko. Um, but we'll save that for later. Uh, as for now... Yeah, like, this can't be sound, right? My play, that is. Um, I bring up the play shogi database. If I try to punch in these moves, what happens if we do... This is not a double wing attack, but uh, I guess I'll put this on stream. Um, Alright, here we go. So, openings. Oh, wait. Main page, openings. Okay, there we are. It just took a second to load. So, if I do this, um, work. Well, I don't know the move order. I don't know whether it matters too much, but. Um, this is a thing? This is the move order I picked in the game, right? Rook, Rook. And then they use the silver to defend. Wow. I'm surprised that, like, such a ridiculously aggressive opening is possible. Um... Yeah, okay, apparently this play shogi database shows that this opening has been played before. My move order to get there might have been unsound, I don't know, but at least the position is a thing. So you want to look at 18, yeah. Uh, was bishop 1-9 possible with a... Uh, let's see. Right here. Um, with a possible threat of Lance Drop 7 1. Um, so, um, mm -mm -mm. So the question is, can go to smash my position before I get to play this? I was concerned, but I'm always concerned. So interestingly, like my rook and generals do a good job covering most of these squares. Rather, uh, this is defended twice, this is defended twice. Um, so my concern about a pawn drop seems kind of unfounded, doesn't it? Um, I'm wondering if there's some kind of sacrifice, or I don't know what. There's got to be some way to break into my position, right? My defenses never work. This would be a first if I had a defense that actually worked. Um... I think the threat here is this pawn drop. 
Um, okay, so you were suggesting this is a follow-up. I see. Uh, so, I have two pieces defending this square, and they have no way to pressure my center pawns. Yeah. That looks playable. Um, yeah, I guess what's so unusual about this is they used only their heavy pieces in the attack. So... Uh, by using all of my pieces put together, I could repel their heavy, heavy pieces easily enough. Since I haven't made catastrophic defects in my pawn structure just yet. I'm sure if I had more moves, I'd find a way to blow it. But um, this far in the game, I've not made any terrible pawn defects. So yeah, I'm not seeing how they continue this attack. Um, so my idea of this pawn drop doesn't quite work. Oh, I wonder if this is an idea. Um, so if I exchange rooks, I drop this to silver. So we're not exchanging rooks. Instead, we're going to take this way. Well, I don't have to take it, do I? I just say thank you for the pawn. That's all this is, but, um, actually, wait, your point is that I could trap the rook. So this is even more aggressive. Jeez. Okay, wow. Um, yeah, the rook has nowhere to go. Yeah, so I'm just winning here. That lance capture is amazing. All right. Um, 24, rook 7, 1. I guess we're going to look at 24. I don't know if that was part of this. Oh. Yeah, the rook seems trapped here as well. Um. Yeah. I agree. That's funny, I was about to suggest, you know, I'd want the gold up here instead, so let's be picky and, like, play the lance here, except that loses the silver. So, yeah, this is the best place to drop it. Understanding that if pawn drops, I just take the pawn. Actually, if pawn drops... Um... There comes a question. How badly do I want a rook? Um... I think the answer is I don't really want it. So, like, I'm fine with this. Just go away, have some fun. I'll take your knight, I'll take your pawn, I'll just keep taking all your stuff. But maybe we go rook hunting? With our king not castled? This could be a thing, but I don't see how to make good use of the rook against their camp. So I think this saves the rook. Um, after which I'm like, okay, yeah. Just have fun. Keep your rook. It's okay. Um, so why did I not have the same reaction back here? Um... Here, where they actually have an extra move. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, on 24, there's one other idea. Um, if we really want the rook, this is a way to go about it. And now they have to offer the bishop. Um, there's no inner position here. So that's just a free bishop. Um, yeah. And if they're feeling, well, my rook already covers this entire rank, so taking this silver won't do them any good. Um, they could drop a lance here. 
I could have to move my rook. Um, right, because I can't do anything crazy like take both the rook and the lance. Um, so maybe this supports an attack one day. I don't know. Although that's not really where they want to put a lance anyway. It's not check, but there's the saying to check is to chase. Likewise, that's just chasing. Um, yeah, so... This would be the way for me to get their bishop. And then once I have the bishop, I don't know. At some point I still have to defend my setter pawns. Um, although incidentally, right now I don't have to. Um, oh, I thought I had a clever Tsuji that would, like, win this pawn. Apparently not. Yeah, no, that's just me hallucinating. That's the wrong diagonal. Um... So, yeah, here, I'm not totally sure what is next. Taking the knight looks tempting. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Yeah, here, uh, this is next. So, yeah, the winning, that would be great. Back here. So, I think even in this position, if they were to pass somehow... um. Yeah, I don't see a passing move, but so somehow they did pass. Threatening this. Their rook escapes again. That's the point I was trying to make. Actually, it's even worse than that. In both of these positions, um, they still have this. So, yeah, this pawn drop disrupts my position. So, better than the lance drop there would be here where I get the bishop, and they don't get to promote anything. Um, so that's my threat. So in response to this threat, uh, they would need something pretty severe. Um, I'm not sure what. It's like if they do this kind of crazy thing, and silver drop here, I could just take the silver, but then they promote. Um, so I don't take the silver. And what do they do? I mean, it looks pretty. Um, but no, probably more severe would be down here, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to find a way that they can get all their pieces onto the board in some sort of coordinated attack. But it's just not feasible. Like, any time they drop the pawn, I can do something like this to defend. So, yeah, their attack just runs out. So taking the lance here is definitely the right move. Uh, this pawn drop is cowardly, although also very strong. Um, yeah, so I guess they do this in anticipation of a bishop exchange. Um... Or maybe they just, yeah, either offensively or defensively, they don't want this rook exposed anymore. But more aggressive would be this. Really putting the question to me of, what am I going to do to stop a rook exchange from happening? I'm not sure. Um, I guess to stop a rook exchange, I take here. And then when they do this, I don't have a pawn. Um, so we put onto the board the piece that we do have, and this way I don't have to exchange rooks, if I don't want to. Uh, but yeah, all this is unnecessary, thanks to just winning a lance 
with promotion. Um, really, they need to start forcing or offering exchanges at some point. And I don't see exactly how they do that, but it's kind of what they need to do. Yeah, the rook on 7-4 over here usually gets trapped. Yeah, yeah it's an idiosyncrasy. Um, I guess in chess you don't have a lance, so that's why this would look funny to a chess player, that a rook could get trapped in the middle of the board. Because the only thing in chess that could do that would be a rook that could like can hit a rook and all the squares behind it or a queen so yeah i think there were some mistakes in my attack here but apparently this super aggressive opening is a thing uh they did this bishop exchange and i'm not so sure about this pawn move so let's take another look at the play shogi database um I'm just super curious what's up. So, my move order here. They did silver 4 8. And then. Oh, hang on. Wait, let's back up in this opening explore. It's the browser back button. Alright, Sente win rate 51%. 52%. 52, 52, 51, 52, whoops, that's not in the database, um, wait, was this not the move they played? Did I have this position wrong? It looks right to me, and then they played silver 4-8. Oh, I'm sorry, that's king 4-8. I was confused by the... Um, okay, so there are six moves in the database here. Uh, left gold, 5-8, which has a win rate of 62%. King, 4-8, which has a win rate of 29%. Silver, 2-8, 40% win rate. Gold, 3-8. Um, pawn, 5-6. And Bishop Exchange. Yeah, let's put the Bishop Exchange on the board. Senta has a 100% win rate with Bishop Exchange out of one game. So... I'm not sure. It seems like there's a lot going on here, but the closest move in spirit to what my opponent played would be uh, Silver 2-8. There might be pro games not in this database. Um, oh, so 8-2 Silver. This is pretty similar. But yeah, this looks very similar to what we played. Um... I'm just amused or amazed that bishop takes bishop is a tempo loss um, and that that makes such a large difference here because like this is silver uh, in my corner after what happened in the game uh, didn't look that devastating yeah I'm confused but anyhow very interesting game uh, I'll have to run that through with an engine, figure out exactly what in the world happened. But this provided my king the ability to go here to defend this square. But I assume this attack could somehow still be real. It's just their king kind of struggled to castle because it doesn't want to approach the rook. And there's this wall, so it can't really move this way either. Um, it's going to take some time for the king to castle. And I've done the one thing in this position that would prevent a Yagra from forming. It's pushed uh, the third file pawn. 
So a lot of unexpected things happen this game. Uh, good game.